What's up guys, k Place here. Back again for the first time in a long time. The last thing we talked about here was the Elder Dragon update for Rise way back in March. Aside from some recording software issues, part of the reason I haven't played or made videos much over the last year is that Hunting Horn meta has been stuck firmly on Dragon Heart sets ever since Valstrax was added way back in May. It was fun doing crazy raw damage for a while, but it got stale pretty quick with no new content updates to pit that set against or replace it with new equipment. As of this morning's digital event though, we've finally gotten something new to talk about for Hunting Horn, so let's dive in. Out of the monsters we saw in this trailer, the gear I'm most excited for has to be from Malzino and Sphragios. The Vampire Dragon's flagship status makes it extremely likely that he'll have a variety of weapons for every class, so there's almost guaranteed to be a new Hunting Horn there. Most monsters with fancy unique abilities like Malzino's Bloodlight usually just get the next best status or element, and with him being Elder, I'm predicting that they'll just go with Dragon like they usually do. We got it for Shara, we got it for Nerigante, we'll see. There's always the possibility of his gear giving a unique skill or ramp up that allows some of his life draining powers to come to the hunters though. My money's on a heal as you attack effect for sure. With this being Horn we're talking about, healing songs are also a possibility. Which now that I think about it could be a nice combination. But I'm getting ahead of myself on the speculation there. Sergios on the other hand is likely to bring back that cool roll to sharpen mechanic on his weapons or armor. It's a sentence I'd never thought I'd ever be saying out loud, but I've missed being able to make a musical instrument out of his foot to hit other monsters with. Fingers crossed that they make Makam's Sedition as good as it was in 4 Ultimate before they neutered it in generations of bad songs, because it's always a shame to see cool horn designs go unused because of their stats. Song mechanics may have been revamped and rised, but a song list can still make or break a horn. As for the new subspecies for Somnicanth and Elmadron, eh. Honestly they don't strike me as anything more than just new targets to be known for us. I mean, Aurora Somnicanth might give us a new Ice Horn, but the regular version of Sleep Horn wasn't all that memorable, and we don't exactly get much out of Element anyway. If anything, we already know that Lunagaron also has a Hunting Horn from the Sunbreak pre-order page. If you want an Elemental Horn, I predict that that will end up as a better option anyway for Ice. More good horn variety is always a welcome thing though, so I'd love to be wrong. Now on the topic of variety, we should definitely get some out of the new Switch Skill Swap mechanic. The first thing I thought of when I heard that we could change up skills on the fly in mid-battle is that the Beat of Resonance could finally see some use. It's a unique concept that's actually capable of some solid results in the right conditions. But 9 times out of 10, Earthshaker is just too valuable to give up. Or rather, it was, because now you can just use both. You get to keep that powerful burst damage attack on top of dropping beads for added utility. Like for example, making sure that no matter what horn you're using, you'll always have attack up available. All the time. For everything. That's something I've seen people asking for for ages, so the fact that Sunbreak finally makes it a reality is pretty huge. Shoot, pair this all up with Echo Mode 2 for rapid fire song playing on a whim. Why not? As for something I've personally wanted for ages, let's take a look at this new Silk Bind. I'd assume it's the alternative slide beat, which means it'll need to be a valuable move to replace an already valuable move. When you catch what I did when I slowed the video down, that might very well be the case. Skipping over the Garen Golem hunting horn for a moment, although I do have to point out that that's an amazing design on that thing. You guys see that small blue glow? That's a visual effect that usually means that the Silk Bind buffs you in some way. Bo has it on Herculean Draw. Greatsword has it on Power Sheath, and now Hunting Horn does too. After a Wirebug Assisted Jumping Uppercut, you activate a Sound Wave when you land. Blink and you might miss it, but this move has the added effect of creating small time-delayed sound bursts wherever you hit the monster afterwards. I'd just like to say that I can add this to the new Hunting Horn moves that I came super close to calling before Rise even released. Next up, I probably want something similar to the special echoing buff for Monster Hunter Online. The basic idea would be to use the vibrations of a bigger sound burst to deal lasting damage over time with smaller ones. For a little while after that, the ringing tone in your horn would bounce through the weapon, adding extra sound bursts on your swings that would slowly fade away over time. This move could synergize like crazy with some of Hunting Horn's other tools for non-stop sound bursts. Could you imagine layering this on top of a magnificent trio, or even better, rapid fire sonic waves with echo mode and beat of resonance? The people calling Rise Hunting Horn blunt dual blades might actually be onto something in that scenario, but honestly I wouldn't even care. Damage increases for Hunting Horn are always welcome. I'm hyped just thinking about it. Hammer looks like it snags something like our Echo attack in the trailer, but if it's giving us impact press in return, I'd say it's a fair trade. That's an ability I always thought should have been on Hunting Horn instead in GU anyway. That aside, going based off the options menu for a Longsword, there's going to be another gnawing silt by mood or mechanic for us to consider. What this could end up being for us, I don't know, but the possibilities are endless. For example, I know a lot of horn players that would like having an option to add recital mode and encores back for a more old school Hunting Horn feel. I personally like having songs activate much faster than before, but I wouldn't mind something like songs requiring longer note combos like they used to in exchange for stronger buffs. 
It'll force us to utilize the whole moveset instead of just using the crush and diversidal spam in between Earthshakers and song refreshes. Like I said, at the moment anything's possible. At least we don't have very long to wait and see though, because we'll be getting more details about our fancy new toys next week. Keep an eye out for my trailer analysis when the Huddinghorn video comes out. Till then though, this has been another Kate Plays and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.